Um, for this video, we actually have a couple of different uh, process types that we're going to be examining, um, both isochoric and isobaric processes. Um, so isochoric, first of all, means constant or not changing or same, constant volume. Isobaric is constant pressure. So if we uh, look at the, uh, the situation for constant volume, uh, we don't need to think of this one as having that piston that can move up and down. We can just have a closed off container. And then that's going to uh, hold its shape. And then you know we're either going to be uh, heating that, fire there, or we're going to be cooling it off um, from the outside in a little ice cubes down at the bottom here. So we're going to be changing the temperature um, within there by adding heat or by taking away heat or we're going to be um, and, and as a result uh, pressure is going to change. So in this one when we go back to the uh, uh, ideal gas law PV equals nRT for constant values, we have, uh, let's see, the pressure, well, that's going to change, but the volume needs to stay constant. The number of moles, the amount of gas, that stays constant. And R, the ideal gas constant, that stays constant as well. Um, so it's just pressure and temperature that can change here. Um, so if I rewrote this, pressure equals nR over V times T. Um, since these three are constant values, we can see that there's just a linear relationship here. Pressure is equal to some constant times the temperature. So if we were to, uh, to graph that, pressure and temperature here, we just have a straight line that increases here with, uh, with some slope that's equal to nR over V. So as pressure increases, temperature increases. And if you think about this in terms of the kinetic model of matter, we have all these little tiny particles inside that are zooming around. And remember that uh, uh, the average speed for these things, the kinetic energy, that corresponds directly with the uh, the amount of heat in there, or the, with the temperature in there. So as temperature increases, these things start bouncing around more rapidly, so we have more collisions with the walls of the container, and they're more forceful collisions as well. Uh, so again on this one, pressure and temperature, those are going to be directly related or directly proportional. For our isobaric process, we do need to go back to our uh, um, open container with the piston idea. So we can have some change in volume here. Um, the pressure is going to maintain uh, some constant value, and just like with uh, with isochoric, um, you know, we can either uh, uh, increase the temperature or decrease the temperature in here by you know, applying some heat or um, by letting heat out, you know, putting it in cooler surroundings. Or we can change the volume using this piston and, uh, and get a, a, um, a change in temperature as a result there. So in this one, when we look at the ideal gas law, the ones that stay constant, well, this is isobaric, that's constant pressure, so that stays constant and N and R always stay constant, so it's just V and T that change. So if we rearrange this equation, yeah, P is equal to, uh, oops, V is equal to N R over P times T, and then N R and P are all constants, so it's going to be just some constant times the temperature. So again, we see that we have a direct relationship between volume and temperature. So just another straight line here. So as our temperature increases, if 
we think about that kinetic model of matter again, all these little particles inside, they uh, you know, move faster as temperature increases, which means that when they're colliding with this piston up at the top, they're going to be hitting it more forcefully, and they're going to tend to push it upward. They will ex expand the, uh, um, the size of this container, um, and if that's the only uh, way that that can happen, then this piston is going to be uh, to be moving upward. Uh, so some uh, this this one uh, uh, then shows two two different uh, linear relationships. Both pressure versus temperature and volume versus temperature are linear relationships.